Electric 30 inch riding lawnmower assembly guide. For detailed instructions and safety warnings, refer to the assembly guide and operator's manual. There are assembly tools included with the riding mower, 12 and 14 millimeter and 13 and 15 millimeter open end wrenches. In addition to the included tools, you will also need a torque wrench, tire pressure gauge, a socket wrench with 12 millimeter and 14 millimeter sockets, and scissors. Step one, unpacking. Set aside all accessible packaging and wrap from the unit and parts. Do not discard the packaging material until you have carefully inspected and satisfactorily operated the product. Remove all accessible boxes containing loose parts, assembly hardware, and documentation and place where easily accessible. Carefully set aside the assembly tools to prepare for the mower assembly. Use socket wrenches or provided open end wrenches to remove the bolts securing each corner post and brace to the frame bottom. Remove the posts and corner braces. Remove the straps on the wheels. Warning, the tire straps are under tension. Inspect all parts carefully to make sure no breakage or damage occurred during shipping. If any parts are damaged or missing, please call 1-800-860-4050. Note, the mower should be assembled while positioned on the frame bottom. Step two, steering column assembly. Install the upper steering shaft into the coupler, rotating as needed to align the holes. Install the bolt and nut and tighten them securely. Torque to six foot pounds. Next, insert the steering column over the shaft and make sure the steering column is securely seated. Using the included open end wrench, install the spacer washer assembly and the steering wheel hub onto the upper steering shaft. Make sure the mower's wheels are pointed straight ahead then install the steering wheel over the wheel hub. Using the included open end wrench, install the flat washer and flange nut and tighten securely. Torque the nut to six foot pounds. Lastly, install the steering wheel cover by snapping it into place. Step three, installing the seat. Remove the bolts and the flange nuts from the seat mounting brackets. Next, place the seat assembly over the mounting brackets and align the holes. Reinstall the bolts and flange nuts on both sides and tighten securely using the provided open end wrench on the bolts and flange nuts. The flange nuts should mount on the inside of the mounting bracket. Route the seat safety interlock cable through the hole of the wiring cover and then attach to the plug on the seat. Reinstall the wiring cover and make sure it is securely seated with the interlock cable running through the wiring cover opening. Step four, checking the tire pressure. Check the air pressure on all the tires before use. Improper air pressure will affect handling, steering response, traction, tire life, level cutting, and operator comfort. Be sure tires are inflated to 20 PSI. Step five, connecting the battery. When shipped from the factory, the mower's batteries are disconnected. To connect the batteries, Remove the wiring cover by pressing the tabs on both sides and lift the cover off. Connect ends of the battery quick connect plugs together. Before reinstalling the wiring cover, install the seat as described. Step six, driving the mower off of the packaging frame. Once assembly is complete, raise the cutting deck to its highest position. Make sure the red blade engage knob is down. Install start key and turn to on position. Locate the reverse pedal near the forward pedal. Slowly and carefully drive the mower off the frame using the reverse pedal while looking down and behind. Note, for forward removal, remove the two posts at the frame base, raise the cutting deck to the highest position, and place a ramp next to the frame base. Caution, driving the mower off the frame in the forward direction without a ramp can cause damage to the mower's cutting deck. Step seven, final preparation. This mower features a safety interlock system to protect the operator by shutting off the blades if the operator leaves the seat with the blades running. Test the system to be sure it is working correctly. Make sure the red blade engage knob is down. Install start key and turn to on position. 
Raise the red blade engage knob to activate blades. Briefly lift off the seat, but do not get off the mower. The blades should shut off within 5 seconds. If they don't, shut the blades off by pressing down on the red blade engage knob, and then verify you connected the safety interlock cable, as described in step 3. If the cable is connected, but the system still doesn't function, contact customer service at 1-800-860-4050. Do not operate the mower until the safety interlock system has been repaired. Step 8. Charge the mower. Mower batteries must be charged overnight before first use. To verify mower batteries are fully charged, check the battery level indicator. To charge, insert the charger plug into the charging port on the mower, making sure it is properly connected. Then, connect the charger to a power supply using a normal household current, 120 volt AC only, 60 hertz. Remove the charger from the mower once it is fully charged and ready for use. Make sure to always charge the mower when not in use, and do not charge the mower in an area of extreme heat or cold.